but i have only one complaint against honda why honda why this wasn't expected from a brand like you sumit pack up kar lena Good morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Prashant Manaji and you are watching Auto Mania. Honda is a huge brand, be it two wheelers or four wheelers around the world. Now let's talk about what Honda is in India. Guys, in two wheeler segment, Honda is focusing on commuter motorcycles. Let's not talk about the big wing world right now. In the commuter segment, there are bikes like Hornet, the SP125, and now with the increased demand of people going for adventure touring motorcycles, Honda is here with a brand new offering in the Indian market, presenting Honda CB200X. Guys, let's start with the cinematic of this beast first. Evolution is a new sexy in 2021. So Honda Motors decided to follow exact same path. What they did was they gifted the R&D engineers a brand new Honda 2.0 and said them, "Dude, we need a brand new motorcycle." What they did was to transform that Honda 2.0 into a magnificent new beast, presenting the Honda CB200X. Let's find out what this bike has to offer. Honda Motorcycle and Scooter India took the wraps off its new entry level crossover the Honda CB200X it is not a hardcore off roader motorcycle or a dual sports bike like the Hero Xpulse 200 but it is primarily a commuter motorcycle with a tall stance upright riding position and edv design and dual sport block pattern tires in India it will go up against Hero Xpulse 200 since that is the only motorcycle in this segment because of the similar specification and pricing this is huge for indian customers they get two motorcycles to choose from bookings are open and delivery begins in the first week of september like i already said earlier the honda cb200x gets few design elements borrowed from its elder adventure bikes such as the half fairing and a small windscreen Elder siblings yes i am talking about cb500x and the africa l twin coming to cb500x well that motorcycle is so overpriced with a price tag of around 8.5 lakhs on road that is not accessible to most of the indian customers but if you want to experience almost similar kind of biking stance and looks you can go for this motorcycle this bike looks spectacular the design elements are beautiful the way the tank is sculpted the full LED headlamps LED indicators integrated to the knuckle guards it looks a class apart and well guys if we compare the looks this motorcycle is miles ahead than its competitors when we talk about the engine this gets 184 cc single cylinder engine which puts a power of around 17 bhp at 8500 rpm and 16.1 newton meters of peak torque at 6000 rpm which is made to a 5 speed gearbox i feel honda has missed a trick they could have given a 6th gear or a overdrive gear with this motorcycle this engine is exactly same and replicates the honda hornet 2.2 Engine gets Honda programmed fuel injection with eight onboard sensors which constantly inject optimum fuel and air mixture for the better efficiency and performance. 
The features include a single channel ABS, a negative lit LED instrument console along with a start stop switch, hazard lamp, full LED lighting and petal disc brace up front and at the rear. The chassis is exactly the same as the Honda Hornet 2.0 but this motorcycle could have featured a bit more suspension travel. But to keep the cost competitive, Honda has kept the chassis, suspension, cycle part exactly the same as the Hornet 2.0. And coming to the ground clearance, this motorcycle gets 167mm of ground clearance which is kinda average. Well this should be enough for minor off-roading duties. And this bike is ready to take on all those things. Together with the block pattern tires, they work perfectly guys. With the curb weight of around 147 kgs, it should offer a decent package to the Indian customers. The tank capacity in this motorcycle is around 12 liters and you can expect a fuel economy of around 40 to 45 kilometers to a liter which will give you a decent tank range. The Honda CB200X is being positioned as a motorcycle that is is capable of light off-roading and also would support long highway rides. However, the suspension hardware is exactly the same as the one on the Hornet 2.2 with upside down forks and a rear mono shock. The braking hardware is also the same with 276mm disc up front and a 220mm disc at the rear accompanied by a single channel ABS. Well I feel Honda could have given a dual channel ABS with this motorcycle. The only difference here are the tires. The Honda CB200X gets 17 inch wheels which are showed up with block pattern tires at the both ends unlike the road bias tires on the Honda Hornet 2.2. Well, these tires do work perfectly with the 110 section tires up front and 140 section tire at the rear. The feature list in this motorcycle also includes a hazard switch, gear position indicator, service due reminder, a battery voltmeter. So guys, now let's take this baby out for a ride review. Hello guys, let's start the ride review. First impressions, smooth as butter. Let's see how this bike rides <laughs> Guys it feels tall and you know what you gotta like it The steering feels so light just because the headlight is not connected to the you know to the handlebar and it is a totally separate unit that's the reason you will be feeling very light when you are riding this motorcycle the handling will be really light onto the corners Yes, let's see, I am trying the saddle. It's so easy. Saddling in this motorcycle is too easy guys. Power up to this end is not a problem. You can easily cruise at a speed of 80, 90 or even 100 kph. Beyond that uh, might be a small issue. The brakes are good enough. But only one problem is it is lacking the dual channel ABS. It's having only single channel ABS. So that's a miss out by Honda. What I feel is the front suspension are good. Those are definitely good. Yes, it's good, but they could have done some adjustment. It's exactly the same as the Hornet. So a bit of more travel could have helped the cause, you know. It would have been the best bike in the segment. See, even now this bike is not a bad by any means. If you compare this bike with the likes of, uh, you know, the main competitor, which is the X-Pulse, well, that bike is 10 kilos heavier than this. And this bike being 147 kilos only, it's very light guys and that will help a ton when you're doing off-roading or going for longer rides. It will help you, you know, saddle much better, it will help you handle much better. That's a huge add-on from Honda Motors. The next is the tires. The tires are big in this one. Uh, these are, uh, you know, thicker, wider and uh, the size is around 17 inches whereas in x you will be getting front will be 19 inch and the rear will be around uh, 
18 inches so that's a bit of advantage for expulse if you're going off-road but if you're on to the highway and touring so this bike will be a doing so this bike will definitely do a very nice work for you what I feel is when you are taking this motorcycle for longer rides, it will be definitely so much comfortable, including a pillion rider. And the pillion seat is also wide, broad, so the rider will be really comfortable if you are going for longer rides. But what about the, you know, ergonomics? Guys, it's the best. It's one of the best in the class. I have no questions at all with the reliability of Honda and uh, with the, you know, the way the Honda vehicle rides, the smoothness, the engine is so smooth, it's pin, pinpoint perfect guys. The fueling is done just right and I thank Honda, you know, the way they have done with the engine but a bit of more torque would have been, you know, icing on the cake. So that's a big miss out by Honda motorcycles. The build quality is nice, the speedometer is clean, it's all carry forwarded from the Hornet and uh, you have this uh, clean speedometer, digital speedometer, you see the gear pitch indicator, the fuel level, the speed, the tachometer, the time and distance to empty. So these are really great add-ons for this motorcycle and when you are sitting, you know, you get the feeling of Africa L twin. Literally you get a feeling of Africa L twin. It's so, you know, <laughs> the way it looks, you feel like a baby Africa L twin. Back, the knuckle guards. You know, it will help you from flying debris, but the problem is they, are, they have indicators integrated into them. So it will might it might be a literally big problem if any if, uh, any stone comes flying and hits the knuckle guard. So highway cruising is perfect. Around 4,000, 5,000 RPM, 6,000 RPM, uh, 70 to 80 kph. It's smooth as butter, guys. So smooth. You know, I don't have any you know, questions about the smoothness of this motorcycle. If I push a bit, only in the higher end you might be feeling, you know, the Honda means the trick of adding one extra gear, which is the overdrive gear. So that could have been a really you know, good add-on for this motorcycle as well. This feels so light, guys. Honda, you have done an amazing job. Kudos to you we have no questions about any refinement when you talk about Honda motorcycles those bikes are so refined from Honda look at the view the clouds it's mesmerizing guys it did rain quite a quite a bit just you know half an hour back I just hope the weather gods don't open up right now because I have a shoot to complete So guys, let me know how you are liking this video. I am really working hard for this channel for you guys. Please, I need your support. Do subscribe to Automania if you haven't subscribed yet. This is one. Of, this is one of the first video that will come online regarding this motorcycle. Hardly there is any ride review right now on YouTube channel. This is the first video coming on YouTube regarding the complete detailed ride review of the Honda CB200X. I hope you like what you are seeing right now. And if you like, do subscribe to Automania for exciting new automotive content. Yes, people will be asking what kind of motorcycle is it because they haven't seen anything like this before. Yes, we had the likes of X-Pulse but that didn't look as gorgeous as this one because this motorcycle looks absolutely stunning guys. It's different like uh, whenever you take out they will be interested to ask you what kind of bike you are riding dude. This looks amazing guys. The clouds, the, I love the cloudy conditions, but I don't enjoy the rain, you know. I don't like you know, riding in the rain too much because I don't like getting wet actually. But I have only one complaint against Honda. Why Honda? Why? This wasn't expected from a brand like you. You should have given a bit higher travel into the suspension and uh, that would have given much more confidence in off-roading and you know, that would have given you know a new genre of motorcycles to customer that looks brilliant and also you know helps in off-roading it's a big miss honda you this is a big miss by honda motors i think they could have done much better this honda bike could have got a bit of more torque in the lower end yes whatever power this bike is having with 184 cc and around six whatever power this bike is getting around you know 18 ps of max power and 16.1 in newton meters of max uh, max torque that is good enough 
if you are going for regular highway trips and but if you need more power at the high end or if you need quick overtaking i think you need to put a gear down guys the part is good enough i won't say it's lagging yes a bit more would have been better but it's good enough guys i don't have too much complaints about this yes many people are saying the power should have been higher they could have given more power yes i have the same problem too but it's not a deal breaker by any another speed bumps and it rides comfortably no problems at all yes talking about expulse expulse will also give you you know the perfect uh, recipe what you need for going off road but when you are on road when you are uh, going for long tours uh, with the motorcycle on highways i think that time you might be feeling that honda does a much better job in that next comes the build quality the build quality is perfect the switch gears the instrument console the rear view mirrors it doesn't clatter by any means it's honda it's reliable the engine is reliable the parts are of good quality everything is made of plastic this one this panels everything is plastic guys but what i'm saying you is plastic quality that feels good that feels premium guys i'll push a bit what honda could have done better is with the front suspension they could have added a bit of travel into the suspension and next is let me enjoy this cornering first perfect perfect it felt so light guys it's amazing 147 kilos into the corners it's just perfect yes what honda could have done better yes honda could have done uh, better with the front suspension they could have given you know higher travel into the suspension and a bit of torque into the mid range otherwise it's perfect if that doesn't matter you if this problem doesn't bother you guys go to a nearby honda showroom and get yourself the brand new honda cb 200x guys i'm in love with it i'm in love with it i'm saddling literally and it feels so comfortable at the handlebar is reaching towards you <laughs> all the guys over there are watching what the hell i'm doing guys let me know in the comment section down below how did you feel about the ride review about the honda cb 200x is this the best adventure touring motorcycle in the segment let me know in the comment section down below that's it for the ride review i will see you in the next segment guys this engine is smooth smooth as a butter so that's the first pro when i talk about the pros and cons the engine is smooth you feel nice and happy when you taking this motorcycle on highway cruising the next point would be the way it looks do you have any doubt in the looks it is derived from the likes of the elder sibling which is the africa l twin and the next would be the 500 cb 500x that's a great offering but it does come at a premium of 8.5 lakhs so if you want to get the same feeling in a lower budget you can definitely go for this motorcycle the next one would be the comfort the ergonomics the seat is well cushioned you feel nice when you take this bike on a highway ride the ergonomics is so beautiful the wide handlebar you feel straight you look straight and there is no question of any back ache when you are going for longer tours but it does come with some problem and drawbacks as well guys when i talk about the negative points the first would be the suspension the front suspension honda motorcycle could have done a bit of you know work into an r&d work into the front suspension segment they could have given much higher travel because this bike will be also taken off road the next would be the engine i already said it's a smooth engine and that's a big pro when it uh, when i talk about the negative part of this engine guys that would be the torque honda could have given a bit more torque in the lower rpms well i don't think that's a deal breaker for my liking but still if you're one of those who likes to rev the hell out of the bike and go you know for longer trails also for hardcore off roading i think you should look forward to some other motorcycle the next part would be the pricing the pricing for this motorcycle on road is 1.75 lakhs only believe me that's a great pricing from honda honda has a few problems with the pricing i already said on the other reviews of honda motorcycle and scooters they are pricing all the products from 5 to 7000 rupees higher than the competitors but this motorcycle is not the same guys with the likes of yes you might say it's costlier than the uh, offering from hero the hero expulse 1 to 200 
it's costlier than that bike by 24000 yes i agree but you get a whole lot of bike for that money it feels premium it feels big it feels a big motorcycle guys and next talk about should you go for this motorcycle of course a big yes if you are going for longer tours for going for longer trails on highways if you want to travel interstate this bike is perfect with a pillion rider behind your back Guys, it's time to wrap up this episode of Automania and it's raining once again. I will see you in some other videos with some automotive or technical content. Till then, as I always say, wear your helmets when you're riding, wear your seatbelts while driving and never drink and drive. This is Prashant Manaji. You are watching Automania, signing off. Ta-da! I'm leaving for a ride. I can't wait and it's raining. Sumit, pack up.